Join me today as we light up our cool and sparkly Christmas tree. Let's get our Christmas card started. Today we're going to be using the Spellbinder Stitch Christmas Tree dies and our conductive fabric tip, our green LED lights, and let's get on with it. I have already die cut our card. So this one comes with an outline die. So I die cut that into my front of my card. And I've also transferred the image to the inside, enabling me to do our circuit. So I just used the actual stitched aspect and I outlined where I'm gonna put my green LED stickers. In order for my Christmas tree to adhere to the front, since it's the same exact size as the die cut, I'm going to adhere a piece of vellum cardstock, and this is just going to give me a gluing surface with which to put our die cut on. I've used my Barely Arts Precision Craft Glue, and I put it all over the back of my die cut, and we're literally going to slip it right into that void. There we go. So that vellum now will even transmit the light through the holes. Next, we're going to map out my circuit. And we're going to start by putting the battery location in. And I am going to adhere a foiled sentiment onto the front. So we're going to use this spot as the switch. Let's indicate where all of our stickers are now. I try and keep everything in rows to make everything a lot easier to put the tape across. So all the points are will be connected. So in this case, I'm going to put all of the positive or the fatter part of the sticker at the bottom and all of the negative sides of the stickers at the top. And there are all my green sticker locations. Now that all of our sticker locations are on our base, we are going to then map out all of the negative side of the circuit. And mine will be indicated with a blue line. We're going to start underneath the battery location and we are going to go all the way up. And I'm going to take my negative side of my circuit all the way up to the top and then we're going to kind of do locations off of that so we're going to take in and go across we're going to come down catch this lower one and the reason why I kind of extend past these locations is because I try not to put a bend of the circuit underneath the actual sticker. So let's plot the rest of these out. And there's all the negative side of our circuit. And now we're going to use a red pen to indicate the positive side of the circuit. The positive side of our circuit will actually start on the top of our battery. And we're going to go out the opposite side. We're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time we want to connect all of the fat part of the stickers. And here we go. Now that our entire circuit is now drawn, we can lay down our conductive fabric tape and our stickers. Now we're going to use our conductive fabric tape. And all it is is just a peel and stick. We're going to start with our negative side of our circuit. So we're going to start on the underside of where our battery will go. And to do corners, basically can just pull it back on itself. The idea is to hopefully 
keep all of your lines of tape from not crossing the other side of the circuit. You can either cut or fold. Let's lay down all of the blue side of the circuit. And there is the negative side of our circuit all complete. Before we go and complete the positive side, we need to build ourselves a little housing to contain our battery. And I'm going to use some three-dimensional foam. And I'm going to bring in our battery to ensure that the size is just right. I'm going to start by making basically a little box. And this just ensures that the battery doesn't go anywhere. And there we go, a contained battery. For the positive side of our battery, we need to create a flap. So I'm using vellum paper today. You can use any kind of uh, cardstock, uh, anything to create this flap. And we need to begin our conductive fabric tape on the underside of our flap because the flap is going to act as our switch and it needs contact with the top of that battery. So I'm going to lay it on the underside of my piece of vellum in this case. And I'm going to wrap it around the edge right up to the top. The next thing I'm going to do, the beauty of having double-sided adhesive foam tape, is that all I need to do is peel off the backer of the foam tape and adhere my flap right to the foam. And there we go. And as you press that part of the card, it makes contact with the battery. And voila, you light up your card. Now, I tend to use a bone folder to take this conductive fabric tape down the side of my foam. And just like the negative side of the circuit, I'm just going to follow those red lines in this case. Okay, let's finish up that circuit. The last and final part to complete the circuit is to add our LED light stickers. In this case, we're using green and each of our stickers are clearly labeled with a letter indicating the color. So G for green, P for pink, etc. And all you have to do is peel and stick. Just make sure that your sticker is in the right position with the negative side as the point and the larger fatter side as the positive. And always do a quick little test. Voila! We have fabulous green lights for our Christmas tree. I also completed the inside of my card by wrapping my three-dimensional foam tape around the edge of my card to decorate our little tree before she gets lit. We're going to add the intricate garland and some gold cardstock. This comes with the die. We are also going to add a gold star. Uh, in this case, it does have stitched lines that you can die cut within it, but I chose not to this time. 
going to put it at the top of our cute little tree. There we go. And we're going to add some fun sparkly embellishments. We're going to use some fun red sequins. Bam! And don't forget the sentiment. We're going to glue that on right where our battery location is. Tucked underneath kind of where the trunk of the tree would be. Giving it a good amount of glue. And we're going to set it down right about there. Kind of acts as the trunk of our tree. Season's greetings. And we now have a fun light up Christmas card. And here's our light up green Christmas tree with all the sparkle of gold and red. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.